Bloy is a gifted international jazz pianist. He has performed all over the world, from New York to Singapore. He has met with presidents and has graduated magna cum laude from the world's premier jazz institution, the Berklee College of Music in Boston. He plays 21 musical instruments, has his own jazz band, and has released six CDs. But he cannot read or write and never finished high school. He is totally blind and autistic. Tony is a musical savant, a musical genius. He only needs to hear a tune once to play it fluently, and he remembers music. He knows more than 10,000 tunes by heart. He lives with his mother Janice and his brother Ray in Boston. When we visited the Deblois, we immediately put Tony to the test. We played him a tune he has never heard before. In his trademark tracksuit, he only needed a few notes. Tony is actually my ninth pregnancy. I delivered Tony at five months. Tony weighed a pound and three quarters of an ounce when he was born. He was just so tiny. You know, when they believed when he was born that he wasn't even going to make it. But he just, you know, he, he was a fighter from the beginning. This little blind gift who was not expected to live very early on began to respond to music. When Tony cried, I'd go over to him, and he kept crying. And I'd go over there, and they'd stop. Finally figured out, I had the record player on. Tony was crying every time that a song would finish. He'd cry because he thought that his crying caused the next song on the album to play. <laughs> Tony was diagnosed with autism. Feel it. Is it a four? But while Tony had difficulty with speech and communication, his musical talent continued to astound everyone. While attending Perkins School for the Blind, a jazz competition changed the course of Tony's life. Tony had entered a contest, a jazz contest, at the Berkeley School of Music, and he won the contest, and he graduated from their magna cum laude. Uh, they, he just blew them away. Tony's story made headlines, and a movie about this remarkable family, starring Sybil Shepherd, was released in 1997. Over the years, Tony has won many awards and performed on many concert stages, but actually for him, dealing with kids is more satisfying. The kids just love to hear Tony's story and Tony's message. And we tell the kids, and we say, it's okay to be different, believe in yourself, um, Always have high hopes. Don't give up on your dreams. 